All right, so now this is the flat that I gotta fix. Right there. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on because I had a, it's a cold start. Um, I think one of the valve seals is bad, so. All right, turn it on. Yeah, that wasn't much at all. It used to be way worse. And that's probably from sitting overnight, but it used to be way worse with used oil, so I don't know. That'd be part of another little uh, project. Obviously, that's steam, but the first blowout was uh, some other thing. But yeah, that's why I'm sending out with this one. We'll see y'all whenever I get to that. Right now, we're gonna let that car go. So, that works. Okay, so we were talking about the problem that I had with it smoking on startup. Like I said, it's, it could be a, a valve seal leak. Um, and it's been a few days since it's been sitting, so let's start it up. And see it. It's not that bad, and the only thing I done was, um, yeah, that smelled like oil. But the only thing I did was replace that, the oil on it, as you saw, and it threw a bunch of water. But yeah, the only thing that uh, that I did was change the oil. But there's still a small leak somewhere. Maybe you know, after driving it for a while, since it's just been sitting before fixing it, I already ordered the headlight and the trim. I just need to order this one and get it painted for this side. But I already ordered that. Um, and then the bottom part, I already ordered that too. All of that my kid's gonna do. And what, what, what time? I think it's the second or the third today, but um, he's gonna get that done and then I'll go ahead and call the windshield guys because I'm not going to get the windshield replaced on it. But yeah, my kid going to get that done and um, and we'll see it in the video. He's going to replace. He's going to replace this one as well with the new one that we got. And as you can see, this tail light looks pinkish. This one does look red. Yeah, because that's probably an aftermarket tail light right there. And I don't like that, so I'll probably fix that too. Um, but it's going, obviously it's slow. It's a slow process. It's always a slow process when you don't have the parts. But I'll be washing it and keep you guys updated. Next video is going to be probably tomorrow or so. I had to start it today because it was super cold yesterday. I mean, this past two days been really cold and you know, you want to keep it charged up and good. And I'm going to take this wheel off as well. I'm going to take that truck to get my jack and we'll get it going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and replace this today. Um, using some fish wire, hopefully you can take it off. Go ahead and do that, bro. You got this. <laughs> this is his first time doing this, so let's get it done. Okay, so we took it off there it is now we gotta clean the glue off we think it's gonna warm up real quick so we can get to it watch out you just want to warm it up you don't want to destroy the paint you might be 
be a little hot, so just stick it in seconds. So you're gonna take all that off. I try not to break the thing, but I kind of got it wrinkled up here. I'm not gonna use it anyway, I'll just hang it somewhere. So now I'm gonna let him take the glue off. So we tried to take it off, but it's pretty rough. I think I'm gonna go get one of those wheels that they used to take these things off. Um, and then I'll get back. All right, so we're on our way to go get uh, the sticker remover wheel. If they have one in advance auto parts. Here's the start of the show, if you don't like to talk. But um, we're gonna go do that. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the jack. So we can go ahead and take the rear wheel off and finally patch it up, because I haven't had a chance. I'm just gonna put a, you know, some type of quick fix to it. But yeah. <laughs> Let's get that done. All right, so we got that we need. So that took off a lot. 
as you can see cuff good bit uh basically all of it but it does kind of like scuff the paint if you leave it there for long. actually no it doesn't it leaves like a residue but for the small part you know uh he's a This right here is what you want. It's not bad. This one works to remove the rest of it. Like I, I just wanted to remove most of it because it sucks to do by hand. But first, before I start doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the whole truck first and then we'll stick this onto it. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the interior. Let's go ahead and wash this thing. Not there forever. But it's washed. And I just got soap and everything. The hose. Watch this nasty old thing down. done now. I'm not even going to dry it today. I'm going to let it run for a little bit. Got to pump up the tire again. The rear tire. I'm going to get the vacuum out. I'm going to get the vacuum out here. Chop back, chop back. Feels pretty good, so. Right. so we get to do that. After I finish pumping the tires, stick the tire out flat again. Start vacuuming this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move it out of the way. Put it a little bit center. So I can go ahead and
this thing. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be insane. It's not too bad. Oh, well, it was pretty dirty. So. Yeah. Let's get that done. Well, that's it for the front. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Look at that. Man. Job, I guess. Now I gotta clean the whole thing, the seats and everything. It's gonna suck. At least look. The reason's not bad. What the hell? That ain't even cool, bro. I don't know who the hell left these glasses in there. I kind of have an idea though. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, get the kick done. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. I would say I don't know who did this, but I kind of have an idea. They don't pay attention. Oh well, what I get? What I got that. Not cool, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna clean the rest of the seats with some of this. Mothers, it's really good. Said I need to let that heat up. 
and take, take its course. This thing is really good. Look. Gotta let it soak in now. Let the whole seat soak it in. And I got something for that. This works too, but I kinda don't like using it on plastic. I don't mind it. That's pretty good. Not from here, but we'll use it. Heck, I'll just wash this thing. There That's that. Let the heat take it. This side is six. Wow. This was somebody's work truck, and the carpet is really beat up. It's from a headlight, but I'm gonna have to buy floor mats. And I mean, I could always get that washed up, but not right now. Right now, it was just a quick wash. Get, get the seats with that stuff on there. Let them soak up. That is really big. The vacuum, more than vacuum, all that stuff, which sucks. Then I'm, I'm gonna go grab something to clean the Inside jams. I put this stuff on the dash too. It's not that bad. And it, it won't do no harm or anything. This for leather. Put on anything. <laughs> Somebody didn't care about this trip that much. So I'm gonna hit that. Sit there. Yeah, now it started playing my music, but anyway, I didn't mean to press that button. Um, I gotta time this up too. We'll see that later. Now let's go ahead and move on to the little emblem. Well, let me wipe this down first. Wipe down. Yeah, definitely a work trip. After the last wash, or the second wash that I do. This side now, I don't want to scratch it more than it already is. I'll clean it more later, right now. Just gonna let it sit. Turn off this thing. Let it sit, soak up, get the heat in. 
Voilà, là The rear emblem. The parts, which will be the headlights, you know, all that good stuff. Um, gotta get those in the bottom of the bumper, stuff like that. Yeah, headlight. I bought, us a, I bought some touch-up paint for the rest of the truck. <laughs>
what you do is you know that paint under. And then when I bought the truck, Well, I can disguise it. So now, I'm going to do the other side. I get the headlight I'm gonna fix the lines here right here because I don't like how the bumper is sitting lower than the hood so lower than the fender so I'll get that fixed up later and a new windshield Alright guys, well, that's it. I didn't find a little knife to take this off. It looks a little better now. It's cleaner now, that's for sure. Obviously, there's, like I said, I need to fix that. And clean this little visor. But, uh, hopefully with the heat, the seat, the seat goes back to normal right there. I don't have a heat gun, I can put more heat to it. Man, it's dirty. But it is what it is. Now you gotta wait for parts. You guys will see in the video next. Once I get the parts though. I'll see y'all some other day.